reverse over the Panther line. White to the net. Shoot! Here's Kachuk. Right in. Scores! Balls is a handoff to Balls. Here's going to the net. He scores! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I am your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for large updates to the games and, of course, breaking news as well. Please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app on the App Store and use our promo code Sense Talk to save twenty dollars off your first purchase. Now, tonight's game is between the Ottawa Senators and the New Jersey Devils in Ottawa, the last game of the decade at the Canadian Tire Center. So let's see if they can come off with a victory. Before we get into the game, a couple of lime notes. Firstly, Logan Brown sent down controversial to the Belleville Senators back to the AHL. I thought he deserved more exposure, more ice time, more opportunities. He wasn't given that. And Belleville, he's going to continue to dominate like he's been doing so for the last couple of years. JC Boudin and Christian Yaros were called up in retrospect. As well, Scott Sabrin returns to the lineup for the first time in a couple of months. Uh, let's get to the starting goaltender. So Mackenzie Blackwood for the New Jersey Devils and Craig Anderson for your Ottawa Sanders. So the first three to go, 8.58 in. I arrived a few hours ago to watch this game. I just came back from Mexico. I came back. I'm ready to watch this game. My Niners are playing like in 25, 30 minutes right now. So great timing for this video. And not the greatest start for Ottawa. Nine minutes in, they're getting cycled. After outshooting the Devils 4-2, the shots are now 8-4 in favor of the Devils. And Nico Hichier tips home a shot from Sammy Vatanen from the point on the power play. Saberson gets a secondary assist. And the Devils take a 1-0 lead. Anderson with screen and the tip. No chance. We go to the second period now where a nice pass from Duclair finds Nick Paul who springs loose and beats Mackenzie Blackwood, blocker side, just squeezes it by him. Ottawa ties it at one apiece on Paul's fourth of the year from Duclair. And Cody Gullibuff, his first assist as an Ottawa Senator. And his first point since, um, I believe, October 2017 against the Ottawa Senators when he was a Colorado Avalanche. That is, um, pardon me, uh, that is Nick Paul's first goal since November 29th. Which is remarkable um, because he scored one, I believe, early December, which was called off. I think that was against Columbus where Duclair got the hattie. Um, but yeah, Gullibuff, his first point is an auto center. Paul's first goal since October, uh, November 29th, and Duclair with a nice setup there. Three and a half minutes later, Andreas Englund shoots it, and Anisimo bats it out of midair, hits the post, off Blackwood, skate, and in. Ottawa regains a lead. It's 2-1. to one. Anisimo gets his seventh of the year from Andreas Englund, and Colin White now has four assists in his last five games. Ottawa. Takes the lead for the first time. It is two to one. Doesn't last long. Two penalties. A power play goal now on a five on three. Nikita Gusev on a weird angle beats Craig Anderson, blocker side from Vatson and Jack Hughes. Remember Jack Hughes' name. The New Jersey Devils are not going away. Three minutes later, Wayne Simmons, a Hail Mary pass to Miles Wood, and Cody Golbuff has a weak, weak defensive coverage on him. Let's Wood. Bro- loose on a breakaway. He beats Anderson 5-hole. We're going, o- we're going to the third period now, pardon me. The Sands are down by one. We go to that third period. Ottawa trying to get something going, but it's not, there are not many chances. And then finally, Vatanen tries to do a little Hail Mary pass. Pajot takes it, gives it to Shabbat, who hammers home a shot from the point. Ottawa ties it at three apiece. Pajot with the assist on Shabbat's fourth of the season. Ottawa... Makes it a 3-3 game. Moments later, Shabbat from the point again, and Brady just tips it wide. We're going to overtime, where after Shabbat drives to the net with a great chance, Colin White has a broken stick, can't slam home a a one-timer to put the game away for the Sanders. Instead, a nice play from Sue Vatanen to Palmieri, who... Throws it up to Jack Hughes. Pajot and Shabbat can't get back in time. Hughes shrugs off Pajot. And then he beats Craig Anderson. Glove side. Chips it over to that side. As the New Jersey Devils off of Jack Hughes. First ever game winning goal. Win this game 4-3 to three in overtime. In the last game of the decade in Ottawa. Which is a little saddening. But a big game for the tank. Technically as New Jersey is the team below us in the standings. Um, so... If, if you're going to take any positive out of this game. Now, if I'm a Devils fan, you trade Taylor Hall. You got Simmons. You still got some nice players. He share, of course. Jack Hughes looks really good. He's a stud. Um, I'm not worried. You know, you just need that. 
you guys wouldn't have been bad if you had a better coach. That's just my opinion. You guys have a good team, and you guys have a bright future. Um, I'm, if I'm a Devils fan, I'm not worried. Um, so the shots go 34-23 in favor of the Devils. They controlled the whole game. Anderson came up big many times. He had an 8-82 uh, save percentage tonight. And on 34 shots, he stopped 30 of them. But trust me, two, two or three out of those four, he wouldn't have stopped. Uh, I think the Miles Wood one... You know, it sucks. It was a bad effort by Golubov, but the, I don't like, I hate, I can never defend a five-hole goal that looks easy like that one, but at the end of the day, it's a, he's trying to cover all angles, and it's tough to cover all angles. Uh, power plays, Devils were hot tonight, two for four. Ottawa's power play did not do well, 0 for three. Face-offs, Ottawa won that battle, 29-26. Uh, and the hits were 32-29 in favor of your Senators. The third star, three assists on the night, Sammy Vatanen. Second star with the goal tonight, Thomas Shabbat hot some batch on the first star, Jack Hughes. The game-winning goal. The attendance tonight was just above 14,000, 14,005. It looked like a decently filled building. Nice to see that for a change. Uh, now, the Sens in their last 11 games at home are 9-1-2. They've gotten 11 of the last 12 points at home, which is really good. They've been in a nice little winning streak or point streak or great run they've been doing at home. And hopefully... That keeps on going. Now let's get to the Send Stock Star of the Night, voted by you, the fans. So the Send Stock Star of the Night, voted by you, the fans, brought to you by CQ.com. Download that from the App Store, use your promo code SENSTOCK, you will save $20 off your first purchase, US dollars. That's 20 US dollars. If you're Canadian, that is huge. Let's get it started. Fourth place, 2% of the vote, Artem Anisimov, number 51 for the Ottawa Senators. A goal tonight, another chance for a second goal. Uh, Vladimir Nemestikov set him up for a beautiful chance. Blackwood robbed him, got that, sec- uh, got that second chance, got the second goal there. Uh, well, second, the first goal on the second chance. Artem Anisimov has been very silent, but he's been effective. One on the ice. I liked him tonight. Uh, third star, 9% of the vote. Anthony Duclair had a nice up for Nick Paul's uh, and the Sens first of the night. Um, he as well had a couple nice drives to the net. Duclair, for the most part, had a good game. But as well, it was a really, uh, how do you describe it? Very low scoring uh, or offensive event for the Sanders and the defense you know, it was really Anderson that came up big. And speaking of Anderson, 30% vote, it is Craig Anderson for the second star of the night. Uh, he had an 882 save percentage, 30 saves on the night. On 34, I say two of those four, he had no chance on. And that fourth one on overtime, you can say he should have stopped it, but it was a breakaway. And um, it's, once again, it's hard to stop it when your defense is caught in the, the opposite end of the ice. Uh, so Anderson had a good game, and he made some big stops when needed, like we have been accustomed to seeing from Craig the Beast Mode Anderson. First star, 76% of the vote. Yep, 76. It is Thomas Hotsom Bacho Shabbat. A goal tonight, and many other opportunities for him to score. He looked good tonight. Defensively, looked okay. Took a puck to the hand earlier in the third period. Came back, got the goal. He is an absolute beauty. Now, the next Sens game is tomorrow against the Pittsburgh Penguins at 7. So, I'll see you then when Ottawa takes on the disgusting, stupid Pittsburgh Penguins. So, thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at SensTalk underscore. For all the updates for the games, of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook at SensTalk. Add us to the circles on Google Plus SensTalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video of sure cool stuff. Please, please, please check our website, SensTalkCentral.com. We update that every single day. And, of course... Please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app in the App Store and use our promo code SENSTALK. You will save $20 US off your first purchase. Thank you for watching. Ottawa loses this one 4-3 in overtime to Jack Hughes and the New Jersey Devils. See you tomorrow night. Go Sens go.